video games. Okay, have a great breakfast. Thanks for coming back. Bye. Have a nice breakfast. All right. How about video games? Do George Washington? Okay. George Washington. All right. George Washington and we'll do firefighters next. Awesome. George Washington and next is firefighters. Okay. George Washington. Does everyone know who is George Washington? He was the first first president of the United States of America. George Washington. All right, let's see. Adjective number one and number two. Do I have any ready to go? There are no places here. A lot of nouns. Lots of nouns. Adjectives, adjectives. All right, adjectives, describing words. Throw them out, big, small, angry. What's Esau? Uh, Esau, great question. What did he write? Oh, he said I'm an English teacher. Esau means English for speakers of other languages. Ugly. Okay. Love. Love is a noun. Right? No. Love. Love? Okay. Love is many things. Love can be a verb. Love is a noun. Right? No. Love. Love? Okay. Love is many things. Love can be a verb. Right? I love ice cream. That's a verb. And if you talk about, like, it is a lovely day, that's an adjective. And I can say, what is love? Love is something. And there it is a noun. So let's call it a noun. It's many things. America can be an adjective. Rich. Great. Great one. Here, let's put America in the noun. I don't know why. Oh, I'm tired today. I cannot think straight. Oh, thanks. Thanks for following. Mr. Assets, thank you. Okay, Rich. Oi. Oi. What is love? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There, it's a noun. Um, let's see. Ugly. Love. America. Rich. Oi. Okay, good. Sorry. Woo! What's a beautiful country? An exclamation. An exclamation. Oh, oi? <laughs> oi. What? Oh, what a beautiful... <laughs> oi. Who says oi? Exclamation. An exclamation is like, whoa! Yikes! Wow! <laughs> Just something you say like, whoa! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Ooh! Those are exclamations. Australians? Oh. Australians say oi. Oi! A noun? Australians? Oh, is Australians a noun? It can be a noun. <laughs> Australian. I will put singular. Australian. <laughs> noun. Person, place, or thing. We need five more nouns. Five more nouns. <laughs> Zoot. E boy. Awesome. Three more nouns. 
This is about George Washington. <laughs> this is George Washington, and we are about to have Australian Game Boy suit notebook. Okay. <laughs> Cell phone. Oh no. <laughs> Librarian. Okay, here we go. Cell phone and librarian. Whoop. Librarian. <laughs> okay, occupation. Oh, I'm going to put li librarian here. Librarian. Buffalo. Perfect. Buffalo. <laughs> oh no, buffalo. The astronaut is already rolling his eyes because... Anytime I hear the word buffalo, I like to tell my favorite sentence. <laughs> my favorite sentence is... <laughs> this is actually great for learning English. English. My favorite sentence is buffalo... Buffalo... <laughs> buffalo... Buffalo... <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> this is my favorite sentence. This is a sentence. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, here... <laughs> Yep, okay, this is a great a great English lesson. So buffalo is an adjective, a noun, and a verb. So here, buffalo is an adjective. It means strong. Strong. Here, buffalo is a noun. It means an animal. Animal. The animal is a buffalo. I'll show you. If you don't know what a buffalo is, this is a buffalo. Buffalo. Oh, look, it's a place, too. This is a buffalo. <clears throat> Chosen in the last one. Okay, great. This is a buffalo. It's an animal. So, buffalo adjective means strong. And a buffalo is an animal. Chose. And buffalo is also a verb. And as a verb, it means like you boss someone around. Boss around. Like you, you should like buffalo someone. Let's see what. Let's see the exact meaning. To bully, harass, or intimidate, like, you you tell someone what to do. Ugh. So we have a strong animal bosses around, and number two, this is also an adjective, this is a strong animal, noun. So, uh... Strong animal, strong buffalo, bosses around a strong buffalo. <laughs> so, buffalo, 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 buffalo. <laughs> that is a sentence in English. You can actually have seven buffaloes, but I don't know how to explain seven buffaloes. Five is just fine. Yeah, pretty weird, right? My favorite sentence. <laughs> yep, that's an English sandwich. There you go. <laughs> yep. That's why that's why my name is English Sandwich. <laughs> oh. Okay, you could say the place. Yep, you could. So Buffalo is also a city. <laughs> Buffalo is a city in New York. Um, oh, Buffalo City. Oop. Here, it's a city in New York. I guess all the pictures of are of their city hall. <laughs> That's all. 
That's all people care about. Um, yeah, English is English is weird, right? It's so weird. Um, yep, Buffalo is a city. So I guess you could also say that like a strong Buffalo, Buffalo. Oh, and by the way, this is this is plural. That's why we don't need an article. This is a plural noun. And this is a plural noun, but it could be the place, too. A strong buffalo bosses around another strong buffalo in New York. Exactly. Yes, and and I forgot to say it's plural. So the plural, one buffalo, two buffalo. So that's why we don't have to say a buffalo. So, like, many strong buffalo boss around many strong buffalo. I'm trying to think, can we make it a city? Buffalo, buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> buffalo, buffalo. Yeah, this one can be the city. <laughs> it's funny. I think it's funny. I like it. Oh, look, there's seven. Is that seven buffaloes? Oh, yes. Let's see. One. Oh, um, it's, it's not just me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight buffaloes. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight. They have eight buffaloes. No way. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> oh, no. This is called a sentence diagram. Um, it's a helpful way to understand sentences if you can learn it. Um, I haven't done this since school. So let's see, seven buffaloes. This means strong. Oh gosh. Oh. So. See, now I am confused. Can we learn about those sentence diagrams? Sure, we could learn about them. <clears throat> um, not today because I need to practice them first. <laughs> yeah, I like... I think this is a really funny joke. Right? This is like a English teacher joke. Actually, I'm confused about the eight, eight of them. There are two verbs here. Okay, so this is the place, Buffalo. And this is a noun. So, the, so animals who are from Buffalo. Yeah. Okay, you can see. Okay. It's yeah. I don't. I don't really understand with the eight of them. Proper noun as a verb and as a noun, the animal. Plural is Buffalo. Oh, an expanded form of the sentence. Okay, buffalo are also called bison. Bison. So, bison that are from the city buffalo that other buffalo bison bully. Also bully buffalo bison. Okay. So, we have an adjective, buffalo who are from Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, it's confusing with eight of them. Here we go. The animals called Buffalo from the city of Buffalo. That Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. The animals from the city bully. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo are bullying the animals from the city. Well, anyway, I think you get the point. It's you can make some cr look they have like a whole picture about it oh wow these people are crazier than me <laughs> oh it is crazy wow oh no hello Natalia welcome back I mean I'm I am having a hard time understanding this this is a little confusing right 
Five is easy to explain, but the eight is really hard. 